and welcome to HRD TV. My name's Jess Bell and I'm the news editor for HRD New Zealand. Today I'm joined by Dylan Connolly, Complaint and Compliance Manager at Domain Name Commission. DNC was recently awarded our Employer of Choice Gold Winner in the Public Sector and Not-for-Profit not category at the 2021 HRD Awards New Zealand. DNC has strived to create a safe, supportive and flexible work environment for its staff and a place where people can really grow and thrive. Firstly, congratulations and thank you for joining me today, Dylan. Thank you, Jess. Talking about how DNC reacted to the global pandemic and the roller coaster that the last 12 months has been. First of all, was um, we just looked after each other. Um, and yeah, I mean, it sounds a little bit cliche to say, but I, I really do feel that as a team, that was our number one priority, was just making sure that we looked after each other. Um, and, you know, you have the priorities of the work that you do. However, you know, each we, we were giving each other calls, we were, we were chatting offline, and I think just knowing that, that the team was there and other team members were there um, just really showed how well, as a team, we really did just come together to support each other. Um, and, you know, some people might not like hearing this, but, you know, work did seem sort of secondary to that as well. But I think by prioritising the support for one another, it just made the work um, so much easier. Um, like you said, it was a pandemic. Um, not many people have had experience working in a pandemic before, let alone at home under level one or level four restrictions. I always get a little bit confused about what they are. But um, yeah, knowing that I had a bunch of um, a team members there that were willing to support me and anything just made um, made it so much easier. It's such a crisis time and, and an unusual time. And as you say, there is no rule book of, of how to deal with it. Um, and what are your proudest achieve, uh, you know, proudest moments of, of that period? Is there any initiative or, me or measures that really stand out that you know you you hold on to and remember for a, a long time? Yeah, there is. I think it was the um, very clear and concise messaging from management and and Dean the company that everyone's priority should be to take care of themselves and their families. Um, and again, it's. It's interesting hearing your workplace say that because it's your workplace as well. But again, it just made everyone, I feel it just made everyone a lot more comfortable being in that position where they got told, and this was from management, that your number one priority is to look after yourself and your family and that you know we can work together on the work side of it. It just made of a very average experience that little bit better knowing that I didn't have to stress about getting things done when you know there was four of us working from home around a coffee table or we had to you know juggle who was allowed to go to the shops at what time knowing that I had that flexibility and that support from the organization just made it um made it made it go so much smoother an amazing message to have heard especially from the top down like you really must have felt you know felt it and felt very genuine and um i know dnc has done some brilliant things with learning and development and in terms of creating a really good place to have a career and to grow so how is the organization um helping staff to achieve those career goals through learning and development very good question very good question i mean I guess you can come on from from two ways. There's a strong um, strong work work ethic and belief of the organisation of continuous improvement and continuous learning, um, and you know the organisation really does support that not only at a personal level in terms of my own or our own career goals and learning and development going forward, but also as a at a team level. Um, so we do a number of activities as a team that really brings the team together from that learning and development point of view as well, um, whether or not that's buddying or pairing up on projects or actually doing courses or 
um, activities together to really foster and embed that in an organization. Um, you know, it's very easy for me to go off and learn and develop myself as well. Um, but when the whole organization and the whole team believes in that, it makes it that much easier. And then you also feed off that as well. Um, you know, you're more likely to do something if you see someone else doing it. Um, that old cliche of a, a high tide rises, raises all boats, I think um, fits perfectly for this situation. And then just tell me about what the future of work looks like for staff at DNC and, and how is it, the sort of people and culture really helping to foster that, uh, that future of work? I, I think what we all learned, um, well, we all learned a lot during the pandemic. Um, but one of the things I think us as a team and organisation learned is that um, things need to be embedded within the organisation themselves. Um, people come and go, things change, things can change quite fast overnight as well. But making sure that you have that resilience, not only as an individual, but also as an organisation is relatively important. Um, so some of the major sort of projects that we're focusing on this year is um, a flexible first approach to working. Um, so that's not only in terms of when and where, but also the type of work as well and making sure that that's embedded in the way in which we work. You know, for example, if I'm on leave and can't attend that meeting, do I miss out on all the information at that meeting? Um, so making sure that, that's embedded and you know capturing of notes publishing of the notes and a, and, a, and a forum where people can access that as well um, we're also looking at in relation to that um, flexibility and when we work as well um, whilst we do operate a sort of a context center there's some consideration that needs to be given to sort of business hours as they say um, but looking at embedding that flexibility in things such as um, self-service and information for our customers and our clients to be able to access themselves rather than having to talk to someone or email someone is important for us as well. And that also has the mutual benefit of embedding that knowledge into the organization as well. So that if, you know, one of us was to ever leave, and I'm not sure why people would, considering we've just we've just won an award, that that knowledge doesn't walk out the door with them. Um, and also that that person can um, comfortably leave knowing that they've added, you know, their legacy to the Domain Name Commission as well. You have really come out stronger, you know, as, as a result of the pandemic and, and built a really good culture and a really strong team bonding through this crisis and, and you guys are ready for whatever challenge lays ahead. So I just want to say a big thank you for joining me and congratulations again on the award. Thank you, Jess. And everyone for watching. Thank you very much. This has been HRD TV.